Start with disconnecting your 6-pin and 9-pin connections for the power unit control harness. Then, progress to removing your rear sensor harness and then your touchpad harness. Once the old controller is removed, secure your new controller in the same location. Ensure that the label is facing down and the arrow on the controller is oriented towards the front of the unit. Once you are certain it is oriented correctly, secure the controller to the roof of the compartment. Once the controller is secured, begin reattaching your harnesses. Start with the touchpad harness and then the rear sensor harness. Then, secure your 9-pin and 6-pin connectors for the power unit control harness. Once the controller is connected and powered up, it will need to have the zero point set. The touchpad will read, zero point calibration, enter to set, power to exit. At this time, use the direction pad to extend the front, rear, right, and left sides of the coach. To retract any jack, simply press the retract button and then use the direction pad once the red LED is lit next to the retract button to retract the side that needs to do so. Once the unit is level, press enter and the screen will read, zero point stability check, please wait. Do not move around inside the coach as it is reading the position of the controller and rear sensor to store this position as the new level point. When completed, the screen will briefly read, zero point set successfully, beep, and then turn off. Test the system for proper operation and you will be done.